Hey guys, so today I'm starting a very new series called Cooking with the King. And pretty much today's recipe is chocolate and um, banana ice cube treats. Now, all you need for this is a bowl of chocolate. I'm going to be mixing this for a while, so I might be putting this in a little bit longer. Um, but it's starting to melt. Um, so you can do this with any type of chocolate. Um, I'm just choosing chocolate chips because that's what I have at my disposal at this time. I've been putting in for 10 seconds for a few, for about a minute now. Um, and it's working. I did freeze them because I was going to make a, a milkshake out of them eventually, but... I decided not to. There's a lot of them. So, we're just going to throw them back in. For 20 seconds. Um, now we'll cut down to the banana. Oh gosh. So guys, you're going to want to get yourself a banana. Um, some people don't know this. This is actually the top of the banana and it makes it easier to peel. Pull it. Um, it's an actually interesting way um, to open a banana. Now, of course we are going to be cutting the banana on camera. Um, some people are going to say I'm excessive. I'm using a longer knife because I want to be able to actually get the sides down, but I don't want to have it on top. So you're going to see me using a longer knife and have a banana slice at the edge. And that's going to help me calculate how many. So we're using a uh, silicone ice tray with the chocolate. Um, and you guys will see soon. I'm sorry, I have to continuously do this. But these are starting to melt um, quite fast. Um, <laughs> this is my first time ever. The last time I ever did uh, cooking was uh, Rodimus Cooking, my cooking YouTube channel. And I only did two episodes on there before I said, eh, this isn't for me. And I quit that whole trying session. Um, but... This is probably going to be around 24 hours. Um, put it in. I need a place to put this. So I'm going to pull out a plate. Always have your equipment ready. So I'm going to put this in. And I'll see you guys uh, to cut the banana. Okay, so to cut the banana, I'm going to be doing about that big of a slice. So if I can calculate right about there so I got probably around 15 20 slices uh, some of them won't be used in the thing so now, it's just the chocolate that we have to get ready. And then, we'll cut to that when it's done. Hey guys, so, sorry that you guys are a little bit tired. Hey guys, so we're getting right into the nitty and gritty of the entire thing. Um, and that's putting some chocolate in. So as you can see, chocolate is easily mixable. I can move it. So... I'm just going to pour a little bit into the grounds of each one. And that's just going to be the beginning of the chocolate. Now, this is probably something that a lot of women would like. So guys, pay attention because this is very easy. If your woman likes chocolate, 
and bananas, um, then 100% chill like this. Um, what I'm using right now is dark chocolate mixed with, um, not to mix with, um, and, uh, uh, cake, oh, I always forget what this is. Pretty much it's just a mixer. Um, and then I'm going to cut this off right there. Now I'm just going to flatten it a bit. Flatten it. Flatten it. Flatten it. And I'm going to try to Now, of course, I'm using, I'm not rotating it because I don't want to risk any chocolate to actually uh, spill out onto the grounds and stuff because that's just going to attract ants. I want to try to stop that from happening. So, as you can see, we've pretty much done um, everything with these. So, we just covered the bottom a bit with chocolate. I'm going to be putting in two bananas for each one as I said most of them will not be getting used we'll probably use two for each and that's just going to give it the banana portion and that's the rest pretty much this is the recipe Put as many bananas in these as you want. They're delicious. And nutritious. And of course, we got one little, sorry, banana. So this is what it looks like now. Um, now, I'm just going to clean my hands before, because bananas when you cut them up are a little bit slimy and slippery and I'm just going to kind of just cover them and this is easier than it looks but all I'm doing really is I'm just putting See, this is something in my high school people would have loved if I made because uh, a lot of the women in my school loved chocolate um, whenever chocolate was around. <laughs> if anybody from my class sees this, they'll probably agree with me. You just want to link these, by the way. You don't want to do anything too crazy. Um, you just want to link uh, the chocolate on the bottom to the chocolate on the top. Um, and then you're going to put this in for 24 hours. So this is actually perfect for Valentine's Day um, or any special occasion that you might have with your girlfriend. Um, and people are probably asking me, well, why are you doing this? Do you have like a girlfriend? That's why you're doing this? Uh, no, I do not. Um, dating for me is like a putting on a bandage or getting a shot I don't like it it's, it's just annoying at this point um, and I'm only 18 so dating for me is just what can I do what can I do what can I do um, and I'm not using my new vlog setup because I don't want to so as you can see this is all going to harden I'm going to just drop that in um, and so guys, it's been over 24 hours and I just pulled out our banana covered chocolate. Sorry, but I'm not using my, uh, fancy setup. So all you're going to do is crack it like you're cracking ice cubes. Um, then you're just going to pop them out. Now mine are a little thin.
they'll cut you to uh, you guys, uh, when we try them. So. Cold banana, cold chocolate. It's good, guys. It's a simple recipe. I suggest try it at home. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.